Good morning from Maxine and Dean. As you can probably hear, the construction is at it again this morning, so I will just wait till they're done to update you later. But we're just sitting here and having coffee, and I'm jumping straight into editing Joe's book this morning. That's the plan. It's Wednesday. Vlogmas Day 17. Welcome. Hi. Hopefully we can have some peace and quiet to talk later, and I'm also hoping to film later, and I can't with this in the background, so... We'll see how the day goes. I changed the locations because I was hoping it would be less loud over here. I don't know if it helped. We're gonna go work out. It's about 10.30. My leg workout killed so bad yesterday that like my inner thighs and my hamstrings are so sore. I'm like waddling around like a penguin today. <laughs> so I'm gonna get just like on my elliptical and just like try to work it out, you know? The worst thing that you could do, I found, after like a really hard leg day is just like sit around all day and not move around. I feel like that makes you so much more sore, so I need to like move around. The editing has been going well. I tackled one chapter, which I knew was gonna be a lot more work than the previous ones because this is a chapter that I added this go around. So like the entire chapter I added. So it was basically like a rough draft, but I got it to a point where I think I'm happy with it. So we've edited basically the whole second half of the book and the whole first quarter of the book. So now it's that like, 25% to 50%. That's what we have left to do. Um, I've been filming a video and just like what happened last time, my camera battery is dead so we're waiting for it to charge. But Max is doing something really cute so I was hoping she would do it for you. And I don't know if she's going to. Max! She's been talking to me so much and now she's quiet. Maxine, meow! Max! These are the kind of conversations that we have together. Anyway, um, I'm sitting on the floor. My chair is over there because I'm still like set up for filming. We're only halfway through the video. I actually paused to charge the battery once, sat back down to film, it died again. So we're charging again. So I'm trying to let it charge as long as I can now. We're filming my favorite books of the year video. So it's a long one. Now I'm just sitting here and unfortunately, what's really annoying is it was quiet while I was filming. They weren't doing anything out there. And I don't know if you can hear it with this crappy microphone, they've started again. The end of this video may never come we just finished filming the video i'm really bummed it's like i don't want to refilm this i only had two more books out of 10 to get through but that's so loud i hope it's not super distracting in the video but it is what it is but i'm annoyed because i was hoping to get like several videos filmed today and that has just been ongoing and i don't think they're gonna stop anytime soon i'm gonna go out of town next week so i don't have another time that i can film these minor irritations it'll be fine it's now two o'clock we're gonna go back over to the desk um i saw a lot of emails come in while i was sitting here so we're gonna answer some of those and then probably get back to joe's book and now i'm just like in a bad mood i was in a good mood i was enjoying it the video was going well and then my camera started to die and i was like it's fine it's fine we'll charge it a little bit then it started die again it's like it's fine we'll charge it a little bit and then that started happening it's just like everything that can possibly go wrong with this video is going wrong okay we're over it we're not in a bad mood anymore there's nothing i can do about it it's still going on in the background the good thing is it didn't start being a problem until like the last two books in the video which is like the last five minutes and it's like a 20 minute long video and most people don't watch the full video most people don't watch all the way to the end and if you do watch all the way to the end thank you that means you're like my favorite people and i feel like the people who watch to the end are like people who know my channel and are more forgiving of me rather than just like random people who stumble across my videos on youtube and leave me mean comments about stuff like that so at least it happened at the end where most people won't see it i was just editing it and you can in fact hear all of the background noise so it's annoying but it is what it is so Back to work. I am so glad that I am going to visit my parents next week because this was originally supposed to be done on Friday and I got an email yesterday saying this will probably last another two weeks so at least I'll be gone next week and I won't have to deal with this every day anymore. Hi. Um, so it's finally not loud outside. It's like four o'clock now. I'm at the last little bit trying to take some pictures of my books to use for like social media and stuff and Dean demanded on being in all of the pictures. I'll enter some of them here for your viewing pleasure. But I'm really tired right now and I feel like I'm crashing so I'm just gonna make something to eat and then just like go lay down for a bit and I still have some stuff I'd like to do today so maybe we'll get some more work done tonight but if I don't get anything else done it's not the end of the world. So first things first we're gonna go get something to eat and I didn't finish watching The Bachelorette last night. I only watched like half an hour of it so maybe we'll just go lay in bed and watch that for a little while and hopefully get a second wind. I think if I eat something I'll feel better. The lack of groceries it's getting to me because I'm not like excited about anything that I have to eat so I just like don't think about it. See what we can come up with. I think we're gonna make some zucchini noodles with some vegan meatballs. That sounds good.
So we're sitting here and we're watching The Bachelorette. I have been joined by both cats. You can see Dean right there, Max right there. We just had some zoodles. It was delicious. Dean, we're not gonna knock it over this time, are we? We're not gonna do that again. You already crashed my photo shoot. You need to be the center of attention in this clip too. Anyway, I've decided I'm just not gonna be productive for the rest of today because I'm feeling too tired. So we will jump back into work stuff tomorrow and just give ourselves the rest of the day off. I might pick some stuff up later tonight, but not right now. So I thought we could answer some questions. <laughs> this one's funny. If Max and Dean could talk, what do you think they would think of you doing YouTube? I feel like Dean would be really sassy about it, but love the attention. I think he would love the fact that so many of you love the cats. Like he'd be like, ah, oh, yes, my fans as he tries to knock over the camera. Max is super shy, so I feel like she would be more camera shy if she knew it meant more people were seeing her. Do you take a deposit for when clients book you? I'm asking because I've been struggling on whether I should ask the same of my clients just because I've heard the stories of people not being paid at all or not enough. Yeah, so I've talked about this briefly. Sometimes I do different payment plans with different clients for different situations. But my standard thing that I do is I take 25% of whatever the fee is gonna be. If they don't know the final word count yet, we'll just make an estimate. And we do that at the time of booking in order to reserve the spot on my calendar. And then we do 25% on the start date and then the last 50% before I return the final files. That's the system that I have found to be the best. And then for projects that like are really small and not as expensive, I do 50% at time of booking and then 50% at the end. Did you ever get your entryway table? No, Um, I keep checking the site from where I bought it said it was shipped and everything and then it gave me the tracking info for FedEx so I go to that and then FedEx says the tracking information is pending and they'll let me know when they receive the item and I bought this several weeks ago so I don't know if I should like contact them about why is it still pending am I ever gonna get this who knows what's your favorite song on Plastic Hearts Miley Cyrus's new album Folklore and Evermore Taylor Swift's two new albums honestly Plastic Hearts by Miley Cyrus is like a no skip album for me they're all so good I don't know if I could pick a favorite I really do like What the Fuck Do I Know. I like the title song Plastic Hearts. Angels Like You is so sad if you've like followed her relationships over the years. I like Give Me What I Want, Night Crawling, Midnight Sky of course, High is good, Bad Karma is good. They're all good. Um, On Evermore, I feel like it's changing. The more I listen to it, the more I like different songs. Like right now, I'm really into Long Story Short, which was not one of my favorites when I first listened to the album. That one has come out of nowhere i still really like closure i like tis the damn season I like champagne problems and willow too i don't know if i have a favorite on that one on folklore i think the one that was my first favorite on when i listened to it the first time and that hasn't changed i really like the one i like invisible string yeah those two would be my favorites off of folklore i know you love reading paranormal romance and i do too i was wondering if you would ever try to write a book in the paranormal romance genre boy have we not talked about this that's what my nanowrimo book was Look what he just brought me. <laughs> um, that's what the book that I wrote in November was. It was Paranormal Romance, the first book in the series that I'm gonna be working on this coming year. It's Paranormal Romance. Someone asked if I could put my past newsletters like on my resource library or on my website or something. I am planning on making an archive of the past ones in case you've like subscribed recently and you missed the previous ones and I'm gonna start putting future ones there. I just need to figure out the logistics of like how to do that. But once I figure it out, I will let you know. <laughs> Recently, I've been working on a fun project that I have no plans on sharing at the moment, but in the outlining stage of the book, I realized I planned the second book and not the first one. Has this ever happened to you? <laughs> yeah. Um, at least you figured it out in the outlining stage. I figured it out after I wrote the book. <laughs> kind of. I don't know if I can explain this without this being confusing. The book that I wrote, not for this previous NaNoWriMo, but the one before that, back when I was still living in my parents' house, I realized was not the beginning of a story. It was somewhere in the middle. And so then this book that I wrote, this most recent NaNoWriMo, was kind of the first book. But I changed the genre, and I changed a lot to it. But it was inspired by the book that I wrote, the previous NaNoWriMo. So then the second book that I write in this new series will be loosely based on that first book, but I have to change a lot, if that makes any sense. Would you recommend writing short stories or poems or a full-length novel first? Every time I try to get him doing it on camera, he stopped doing what he was doing. You get it, Dean. You get it. Get him. You do a very good job. So here's the thing. I hate that advice personally. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you also did any like creative writing classes in school, if you got that kind of advice where they were like, 
write short stories first and then work your way up to novels that's horrible advice in my opinion they're completely different mediums and knowing how to write a short story will not teach you how to write a novel um, I mean, it's all good practice, obviously, but it's a completely different beast. If you want to write short stories, then write short stories, but if you want to write novels, I don't think it's going to be any easier to write a novel just because you know how to write short stories first, in my opinion. Maybe some people have had another experience, I mean, aside from like learning like how to write the beginning, middle, and end of a story, the structure of short stories and the structures of novels, it's just so different that I don't think it's helpful. I had so many creative writing classes where they like, forced us to write short stories all the time and I'm not a short story writer I am a novel writer and from what I've talked to from my friends who were in the same major they all like said a lot of them said the same thing so write whatever you want to write but if you're writing one because you think that's like a stepping stone to write the other I don't agree with that but all practice is good practice it might help you just improve your writing in general but I don't know if it's gonna help you improve like your storytelling and like the structures of novels if that makes sense I think those are all the questions anyway me and the cats will be here I can't believe it's already Wednesday I only have two more days to get all my stuff done before my parents are here it's gonna be a busy two days but it's okay we're not gonna get stressed about it It'll be fine. I know I said I wasn't gonna work anymore today, but I, now that I said that, I think I'm gonna go get my laptop and try and get some more done while I sit here. But before we go, here's Maxine being adorable as always, and Dean cleaning himself while cuddling his mouse. Hello. Um, I'm sitting in here. Dean's under the desk. You can't see him, but he's here with me. And basically, I just sat down to make a to-do list of all of the things that I need to get done before I leave, before the holidays and everything. And it's not that bad, but I was trying to sit down here and work a little bit more on Joe's book tonight, and I just can't do it right now. I'm too tired. It's like 6.30, so we're just going to call it a night. I'm going to finish editing this vlog and upload it and stuff, so we're going to end the vlog here. Thanks for hanging out with me today. If you wanted to grab any of the used books, I'm going to have the link down below. This is going up on Thursday, so Thursday, Friday will be the last days that I'll take any more orders, and um, then I'm just going to close down the dock because I'm going to be gone. So if you wanted to grab any, grab them now. If you don't, it's cool too. Yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. So hit me. So hit me. So hit me. First a confession. With you, I feel a connection. With